So with all the headlines about what Jeff Session told the Russian ambassador and what he told Congress and what did Mike Flynn tell the Russian ambassador and why are we only learning about this now and what about this other former Trump campaign aide and it does seem like we're not getting the full story and that of course is making journalists dig harder. Uh, they're sort of uh, uh, like bloodhounds on the trail. Of course the trail may be leading nowhere. But let's take a step back. And let's try to figure out what is driving this story. Well, obviously, it's got some sexy elements, FBI investigation, Donald Trump, secret contacts, or at least undisclosed uh, contacts with the Russian ambassador, who seems to have been a popular guy here inside the Beltway. But I think there's actually two driving forces. And one of them is partisanship. Democrats are pushing this story hard because they think that it might raise questions about the way in which Donald Trump won this election well, amid the Russian hacking and uh, perhaps undermine his presidency. But there's something even more fundamental than that, and that is the following. Donald Trump made clear as a candidate, and he is making clear as president, that he is going to pursue a very different approach toward Russia and Vladimir Putin than has been the case under Republican and Democratic presidents for the last 25 years or more. He sees less of a need for an adversarial relationship with Russia. He sees the possibility of more cooperation. He has said nice things about Vladimir Putin. And this has shocked and horrified the foreign policy establishment. When I say establishment, I'm talking about the sort of Council on Foreign Relations, Foreign Affairs Committee types of both parties, remember Trump ran against the Republican establishment as well, that thinks this is a terrible, horrible idea and that may be behind some of the leaking here. Uh, and so there is this sort of mindset that, well, why is Trump being so friendly to Russia? And does that mean uh, that there were some secret deals and, is, and the fact that Jared was involved in a meeting? There is just sort of this suspicion without any evidence at this point um, that there may be something sinister. And I think as journalists, since we can't prove that, we have to resist that. Now, it's fine to ask the questions about who met with whom where. Uh, and when you do have the Attorney General of the United States, because he didn't give a complete answer to the Senate Judiciary Committee, recusing himself from this FBI investigation, that's news. It's not fake news, folks. And if Hillary Clinton's Attorney General had done the same thing, many of the people criticizing this story would be up in arms to know more. But I do think that Trump didn't make any secret of the fact during the campaign that he was going to take a different approach to Moscow, a different approach to Putin, and he won the election anyway. And so I don't think that um, partisans or some journalists should be using uh, these stories and this investigation as a way of trying to undermine him uh, in his approach to Russia. Every administration takes a different approach to Russia. Hillary Clinton had the famous reset button when she was Secretary of State. It could, could turn out, and even Trump has acknowledged this, that the relations between the U.S. and Russia are going to go downhill despite efforts uh, uh, by both parties uh, to have a more cooperative relationship. That could happen. The guy's only been in office a few weeks. He's talking about a witch hunt because he sees this whole thing as political. My point is that to the extent we should have, absolutely should have, a, a vigorous national debate about what should be the U.S. policy toward Russia. But it shouldn't be through the back door of trying to discredit the Trump administration um, by looking at all these previously undisclosed contacts. Now, it would help matters if people like Flynn and Sessions and others would just uh, tell us what happened. If they would just go, if they would just decide they're going to get it all out, stop with the drip, 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 that would help uh, bring this story perhaps to an end because I don't know the FBI is going to find anything. We shall see. Uh, but at the same time, I do think there's a sort of official Washington revulsion against Trump's foreign policy, particularly as it pertains to Russia. And I think that is the hidden driver of this whole mess.